shocking news. Harry does not dare return to UK next May. Is Meghan ban him? The couple Meghan and Harry are currently hesitant and anxious about their return to the UK. Their concerns extend beyond security issues, as there may be deeper secrets at play related to Catherine's health and their ongoing challenges with Harry. We will delve into all of this in this video. A source reveals that Prince Harry is not happy about going to the UK alone, while his wife Meghan considers withdrawing from their planned visit due to security fears for their children. Meghan is reportedly reconsidering their family's upcoming trip to the UK as she fears for their children's safety following a leak of their plans. The mother of two was hoping to travel to the UK with Prince Harry and their children next month, but the source stated that her security concerns have led Harry to consider another solo trip. The source claims Harry is unhappy with the possible change of plans because he feels a strong connection to his former home, especially given the news of his father's and sister-in-law's cancer battles. He wants to be supported by his wife during this time. It's reached the point where Meghan doesn't want to come to the UK with the children. She just doesn't feel safe, the source said. The situation now revolves around whether the family should attend with increased security or if Harry should go alone. The source added that Harry, 39, has pleaded with his wife to reconsider, expressing his desire not to face the trip alone. Harry doesn't want to keep making solo trips to the UK, the source explained. He would prefer if the entire family made regular visits to see his family and mend fences, but the circumstances behind the scenes make that challenging at the moment. The couple plan to visit Britain for the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary service at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8th and were expected to bring their children, Archie and Lilibet. However, uncertainty now looms over whether the whole family will attend. The original plan was for both Harry and Meghan to come to the UK, but when the exact timing and details of their visit became public, she began to reconsider the source revealed. The anniversary service date had always been known, but the Sussexes aimed to keep the exact date under wraps for security reasons when the date was inadvertently posted on the official Saint. Paul's website, the dynamics of their visit shifted. The source also disclosed that the Sussexes original plans included flying the entire family to the UK on a private jet on May 7th and staying in a confidential location for a week before returning to California. Harry and Meghan were planning to celebrate Archie's fifth birthday at their Montecito home on May 6th and then fly to the UK on a private jet the next day, the source explained. They intended to attend the anniversary service and spend a few additional days in the UK so the children could meet with members of Harry's family. However, beneath the surface of security concerns lies a more complex layer of emotions, the source added, telling us that Meghan doesn't want to be thrown back into an anxiety fueled visit to England where she feels like she's not wanted. What's more, tensions between Harry and Meghan regarding their return to the UK have been exacerbated by recent health developments within the royal family. With news of King Charles' cancer diagnosis and the Princess of Wales' announcement that she is also battling the disease, Harry finds himself grappling with conflicting emotions. A source close to the couple claims that Harry is torn between his desire to reach out to his sister-in-law and support his wife. Harry and Meghan have lent their support to both the King and Kate during recent weeks, the source said. Both of them were very upset about the news surrounding them. Harry is keen to go and visit both the King and Kate when he comes to the UK, but he knows it will be a difficult task to get Meghan to join him. She's been through a lot. Uh, but so now are his father and sister-in-law. He wants to be there for his family but has to find the right balance between supporting them and supporting his wife at the same time the source said Harry has personally reached out to Kate following her cancer diagnosis and is deeply concerned for her well-being. Reaching out to Kate has come from his side, but he's extended well wishes on behalf of both him and his wife, they said. Harry would love for Archie and Lilibet to have a better relationship with their cousins and even the children of some of his friends. He feels like they have been away from the UK for far too long and wants to start building a life here, not full-time, but a second home they can visit regularly. 
As Harry and Meghan stand at yet another crossroads, torn between family obligations and personal fears, the road ahead remains uncertain. What they feel needs to happen now is for their safety and security to be assured so the family can return to the UK, where they belong, the source said. All the while the government downgrades their security and the royal family pushes them to the sidelines, it will only leave uncertainty and anxiety for the entire family, which is what they are trying to avoid. As for Catherine personally, women shouldn't always have to explain themselves. No one should, she said. My heart is broken for Catherine Middleton, who is going through such a hard time and couldn't get the proper privacy she needed without everyone's conspiracy theories. Let's do better going forward and finally give her the peace and prayers she and her family deserve. Yes, she is lovely. Catherine and her family should be left in peace and people should stop writing rubbish about her. There is no need for people to be so mean and childish. Or, let's do better and not call her by her maiden name. She's been married 12 years, given birth to three beautiful children. I believe she's more than earned it. Her name is Her Royal Highness Catherine. Now she is Catherine, Princess of Wales. I agree that Catherine and her family need and deserve the time and privacy to process this. They also deserve the protection and security to ensure that privacy. But I don't believe that Harry, Meghan, and their family deserve the same. On the other hand, let's begin by respecting Her Royal Highness and properly addressing her as Prince William asked many years ago. As Catherine or the Princess of Wales now, nothing else is acceptable. She's not been Middleton in 13 years since she married Prince William. She is a future queen and mother to a future king. She deserves to be addressed as the royalty she is. God bless Catherine, the Princess of Wales. May she have a full, complete recovery. In today's video, we explore the situation of Meghan and Harry and the challenges they face regarding their return to the UK. It's disappointing to see Meghan not being considered a common woman by some people. One might think she should have realized this by now. It's essential to address the issue of keeping secrets offering bits of information that leave others to speculate can lead to misconceptions. While it's understandable for personal matters such as illnesses to remain private, living a public life inevitably invites speculation. It may be wiser to manage the narrative and control the flow of information rather than hide a common condition. By doing so, Meghan and Harry could have better navigated the news cycle. Despite these challenges, it's crucial to understand the real difficulties Meghan has been facing. We should offer our support and empathy for her situation. If any of us were in her position, we would likely find it heartbreaking. Unfortunately, many people enjoy bringing others down, often driven by jealousy and a desire for attention. In the face of these challenges, Megan's resilience and strength will likely help her overcome the obstacles she faces. Let's hope she can navigate this immense challenge with success and grace. Thank you for watching the video until the end. How do you feel about today's content? Do you agree with the views we have analyzed? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel.